Okay, so finding the sum of the first n terms for just arithmetic sequences, uh, we're going to use a formula here, which is for the first term, uh, common difference, and which term I'm looking at, which is going to be the n. Okay, so just going over the parts of the formula. Um, okay, S, F sub n is going to be the, the value of the sum. Not which term it is, but the value of the sum. And n is going to be which, which term is it. Okay? Okay, I said which term or how many terms. If it says for the first 16 terms of the sequence, then n is going to be 16. Uh, D, of course, is the common difference. So, uh, nothing too new when it comes to, oh, A, of course. Forgot A. First term. A is the first term of the sequence, which we may be given, we may not. Okay, so the first part is just going to be finding the sum of a certain number of terms. And that's the easiest bit because we just substitute everything in, in, into the formula here. Um, so let's try that. All right, so these are kind of the golden nuggets we're going to use. For the problem, we use these values, substitute them into this formula, uh, 35 divided by 2 times 2 times the first term, uh, 2 times the first term is 3, plus um, n take away 1, n take away 1 is 34, I'm just going to put that right in there, um, instead of doing 35 minus 1, times my common difference. Okay, and so I simplify the, these bits here. You could enter all this on the calculator, but 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. And when I simplify all of this on the calculator inside the brackets here, I do get 142. I just did a little shortcut for you. Oh, I put a 3 instead of an S. That's silly. So the sum of the first 35 terms of this arithmetic sequence is 17.5 times 142, which I think gives me 2,485. I'm just going to check that real quick. Okay, that checks. Okay, so part two, what does this mean in English? It means we're going to find other things like finding uh, the, the common difference or the first term or which term it is when we're given the sum of the terms. So we're going to be working a little bit backwards here. Um, let's give an example here. Um, let's say, uh, find the common difference. All right, so let's see if we can do this one. So S9 equals 324, what does that mean? It means the first nine terms add up to 324. The first nine terms. So right here, let's go, okay, well, N equals nine, nine terms. Um, common difference, I don't know that yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what that is yet. Uh, what else can I understand? A. Okay. Well, um, and 324 will be the value, S sub n, the value of the sum is 324. I just want to figure out what D is. Okay, well, let's look at the formula again. So here's my, my pretty formula again, and I'm going to substitute everything that I'm given. I'm given S sub n, that's 324. I'm given the sum. Um, I'm given how many terms there are. There's nine, even though it doesn't specifically say, but we need to know. Uh, nine over two times I'm given the value of the first term. What is it? Eight. Two times eight. Uh, N minus one. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm given that. N was nine times D. I don't know what D is. That's what I'm figuring out. So here, this is a whole lot of algebra that I've got to kind of clean up before I solve for D. So let's say, say 324 equals 9.5, I'll change that I guess real quick, 4.5 times, okay, 
2 times 8 is 2 times 8 is 16 and 9 minus 1 is oh not a that's a plus Mr. Accardi not a times that's a strange symbol now sorry about that um, 9 minus 1 is 8 and we'll stick that D onto it right there that's a plus sign now the only way to simplify this guy is to expand brackets. So 324 equals 4.5 times 16, 72, plus 4.5 times 8D. Well, what's that going to give me? 36D. Now I'm at a two-step equation. Subtract 72 from the other side. And what do I get there? 324 minus 72. And then my last step is going to be to divide by 36. 252 divided by 36 equals D, and hopefully that's a whole number. It should be. And I get a common difference of 7. What does that mean? It means my arithmetic sequence is going up by 7 each time. So if I were to write this out, okay, my first term was uh, 8 going up by 7, 15 going up by 7, uh, 22, etc. And the first nine terms would add up to 324.